Hello everyone and welcome to the Fry Smiles Oral Health Network. I am your host, Scott Fry. First and foremost, I want to thank everybody who shared our post uh, from last week with all their friends. Thank you so much. You're probably wondering why I'm wearing these ridiculous yellow gloves and these goggles today. And that's because we're going mad scientist and I'm going to be showing you how you can go ahead and make a, an at-home baking soda rinse to quickly rebalance your oral pH after meals. Um, you know, any time that you have a really sugary snack, you're going to be creating, a, your bacteria in your mouth is going to be creating a lot of acid. And unfortunately, you can't rely on your saliva alone to go ahead and bring your pH back to normal. Uh, you know, it can't correct some of those big, big imbalances that you're going to find after you have a soda or a whole bunch of candy. Uh, and, you know, typically, it takes about 30 minutes for your saliva to get your pH back to neutral. But some studies have shown us that uh, when you have dental plaque that's been on your teeth for a few days, that pH in that area, in that location, can remain acidic for up to several hours. And that can create some serious imbalances in your mouth, and it can do some real damage to your teeth if you're not careful. Fortunately, with a baking soda rinse, you can quickly and easily and predictably go ahead and correct these drops in pH after you know some sugary meals that you might be having. You know, I'd really love to tell you uh, you know a, a nice way, you know, something you go to look for in the store, um, something that's ready made. But unfortunately, all the rinses that you're going to find in the store are at least slightly acidic because that helps with the shelf life. And you know, if you're going to be selling anything out in the store, you know, you don't want it to go bad uh, while it's sitting out waiting to be purchased. Uh, so, but anyway, you know, the nice part about this rinse is actually that it's not going to cost you more than $1.50 to make a similar sized rinse that you would find in the stores. And all you need is four basic ingredients. Baking soda, xylitol sugar, some peppermint oil, and you know, you're just basic your basic tap water. And a big bag of xylitol like this should actually go ahead and make enough rinse to last uh, about a year. Uh, and that kind of depends on your usage, but you know, if you're not using it eight times a day, it should get you through about a year. Um, you know, just measure out eight ounces of water. And we're going to be making this for just one cup. Uh, you can go ahead and you know multiply the recipe uh, if you want to make a really big liter and just kind of carry it around with you. So you go ahead and just take eight ounces of tap water, and then you want five teaspoons of xylitol per eight ounces of tap water, and that's going to make a 10% xylitol solution. And then you go ahead and add a teaspoon of baking soda. And then about 20 drops of your peppermint oil. And you can try adding, you know, different, uh, you know, essential oils. But I really like peppermint oil because it really emulsifies well and it doesn't just beat up on the surface. It should take a few minutes uh, for the xylitol sugar to go ahead and dissolve. But just be patient and don't forget to stir. Just mix it up real well. And, you know, I think this, this is a pretty safe rinse. You'd have to get pretty creative uh, to hurt yourself with this. But uh, if you, I would hesitate to gulp it down because xylitol, it's been known to cause a little bit of indigestion and diarrhea if you consume it in mass quantities. Uh, you know, that's our show for today. I hope you liked it. Um, you know, if you go ahead and make this rinse at home, let us know how it turned out. And make sure to use it after any sugary snacks that you're having throughout the day to go ahead and rebalance your pH. Uh, and minimize the effect of the uh, bacterial acids on your teeth. Uh, stay tuned. Later this week, we're going to be releasing our official guide to the ideal oral health routine, uh, and that's going to be on ebook. If you want to be one of the first people to get that, go ahead and become a fan of ours on Facebook, Fry Smiles Orthodontics, uh, or you can follow us on Twitter at, at Fry Smiles. Uh, just keep sharing us with your friends. I really love to see that. You know, we want to reach as many people out there as possible, so that way, you know, some of this helpful information can get to everybody. Uh, let us know how the rinse turns out. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let us know how it went.